how to configure the printer so by using this spad spad is the t code to configure the printers and we discussed just now access methods so we have three types of access methods so one is local access method remote access method front access method local access method means within a network or within a server we configure that we are calling it as a local access method remote access method means if we configure the printer outside of the network or outside of the server that we are calling it as a remote access method the front access method is like a if we configure with for user specific that means irrespective of network irrespective of uh, server we configured that we are calling it as a front end printer to configure the printer the t code is what spad is the t code to configure the printer so once you hit that t code we just uh, come and uh, output devices we just uh, click display and then after you came into this you just uh, click change icon and then after you just create the I'm just giving test printer I'm just giving output device name I'm giving the shortcut name is like a TST something to identify purpose I'm just giving short name the, for this I'm selecting the device so now I want to configure the requirement is like you need to configure this they are going to give you the whatever the device printer device is there they are going to give you for example canon so this is there into the and next we need to select the spool server as i told you like if it is a remote server we need to select that particular server and then after we need to move to the access method we discussed just now this is about the access method right so see here we are having so many access methods for local access methods we are having two types if you select c that we can work with the windows system if you give l type that will work with the unix system if you are going with the remote access method if you take u as it will work with the unix system if you take s it will work with the windows system so based upon your access method you need to select these methods local access if it is a windows system you need to select the c the local access method if it is a windows you need to select this c type direct operating system code if it is a linux system local access method you need to select the l type this is the L type. So you need to select this L method. If it is a remote access method, U for Unix, you can easily remember. S for Windows here in remote access method. U for Unix, S for Windows. U for Unix. This is the method. S for Windows. And next we are having front end. See here, front end we are having two types. This F type is older one. Like if you give the F type, this is a calling to the front end method, front end access method. And this is the older one. If you give the G type also, that works. It is the latest one. It will give you the seamless access to the front end access. Every user can use by this method. F or G, right? So this is F type. See here, printing on front end computer. If it is a G also, the front-end printer with the control technology. So that's what, if this is the latest one, this is the older one. So this is about local, remote and the front-end. And we are having so many access methods as well. So I'm just selecting L type. So I want to take it as a local type. So, and then after, you just click save. specify host printer name so we need to specify the new one i'm just giving some name say test printer name i'm just giving see output device test printer was saved see here the test printer came here the device type is Canon type. Which server? The spool server. This is the spool server. We have completed with the spool access methods and as well as the spool configuration. That means printer configuration we have finished. Thank you.